Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, Kaido. Yeah! Yeah! Hundred Beast, the King of Beasts, the Beast, the epic motherfucker who just fell 10,000 meters beast, Kaido. Now, this is a color page spread of the chapter, because I just want to dive in, right? I want to see what the fuck Kaido's going to do. But I'm, this right here is a color page spread. You have Luffy. You have uh, the guy from Kuro, uh, from uh, um, Assassination Classroom, Kuro Sensei. You have the Haikyo guy, Hinata. You have Soma. You have, of course, Toriko. You have the guy from Boku no Hero Academia. So you have, you have Ichigo. You have all these shonen characters in nice color spread. Weekly Shonen Jump 37 and 38. And also on top you have the Boruto film, Naruto, the movie. Hopefully, the last the movie. But whatever. And I mean that's really it. And the cha and the title of the chapter is <sighs> Soldier San's decision. And I'm pretty sure Soldier San is Kiros. So I'm really fucking hoping. I'm really, really hoping that because based on this title chapter, I think they're gonna go back to the Dress Rosa at some point. But I just just just, just show us some Kaido shit. Fuck. God damn it. Just, just show me some epic ass Kaido shit. I want to see a Yonko in his prime and what they can deliver. All right? I don't want to have a 72 year old, sick, failing organs Yonko. I want to have a fresh Yonko in his prime and what he can deliver. I want to see how powerful, how far away they are from the rest of the herd. I don't normally pray, but when I do. It's because I want to see some Kaido action. There's actually a pretty nice color page spread. Like a one piece color page spread. Summer is falling. And then for the most part what I'm seeing here is that there are a bunch of squids that look like the Kraken. Like mini Krakens and whatnot. So, you know, fascinating. But really not a big deal. Uh, third day since the end of the battle. Dress Rosa, South Coast. Okay, so we're starting off in Dressrosa, which honestly is not a good sign for any potential Kaido action. I'm, I'm just hoping that, you know, at some point in the chapter, we're hoping going to go back to the fucking Kid Hawkins Apu Alliance and how they're going to handle Kaido, or I should say how Kaido's going to handle them. Didn't Sabo tell Luffy, well, didn't Sabo tell Zoro and Frankie and Nami and Law, I think, that... CP0 coming. So why the fuck would they still why would Luffy still be there if CP0 is on the fucking way? Okay, first of all, saying Goku, I like the white hair. But like, whatever, man. Like you guys should be gone. You guys should be on the way to Zol. Like Luffy and company should be recovering on the way to Zol, not staying here. So apparently Sengoku is a Marine HQ inspector. That's his job. And he's talking to Isho on the Denden Mushi. And he's like, I'm really fucking happy that I'm not Fudamo any longer. Because after what you did with the whole prostrate apology, and then you had argued with Sakazuki, he's like, eh, you know what, I'm, I'm pretty damn happy that wasn't me. This lone die alone decides whether or not Monkey D. Luffy is pursued or not. He is the pirate that saved this country. So... Should I let him stay here as a hero, or do I pursue him because he's a pirate? And, and yo, straight up, Sengoku is just laughing in his face. A die. Like, that's, that's what it is, really. That ass. A die. And the whole thing. This whole thing could have been taken care of, but you decided to leave fate to a die. Apparently, Sudoku took care of the Heavenly Demon's guarded convoy. So, basically, if it's anything other than a one, he has to actually hunt down Luffy. Uh, Man Shelly's there. Saw him about helping with the Ken Popo. And all the girls think that she's cute. Even Sudoodoo. Yeah. Even someone as seasoned as her, she's digging the Man Shelly look. Yeah, so kawaii! Central District, today on this day, our king returns. And it's fucking Gats, of course. Spieling, as always. Yo, this dude alone wasted like three chapters. Three weeks of our lives, straight up. So King Riku is talking to Elizabello about pretty much how the people, they do want genuine peace now after seeing the horrors of death and whatnot after Flamingo's rule. And then he says, 
and I quote, I wonder whether or not I have it in me to make them happy. Would that I were a godlike king that could sweep aside even storms with a wave of my hand. Now, the translation's kind of funky there, obviously. But, what I think he's stating may be some type of foreshadow, because he mentions a godlike king. And then you have Elizabeth say, Oi, don't get ahead of yourself. And he says, I'm joking. But a lot of times, Oda, he makes these jokes into reality. So when he says a godlike king that could even sweep aside storms with a single wave of my hand, I mean, godlike kings, in my mind, that's like some Roger type of shit, you know? Because Roger, the power to hear all things. And you have someone like Dragon who could actually control possibly weather and sweeping aside storms with a wave of my hand. I mean, I mean, it's just... I'm just saying that for some reason, I think that there's some type of foreshadowing in that statement. But odds are, I'm blowing it out of proportion. Rebecca, she's in a dress, so she's so she's covered up. So all that, you know, OD fan service, gone. So all the guys are gonna like they're crying inside. They're like, fuck. We miss them big old exposed titties. And now we get a dress. Fuck dresses. Get back in your birthday suit. Oh wait, I forgot. She's like the 17. She <laughs> Oh no. Viola's there too. Yeah, she's there. Uh, so, odds are, Viola is not going to become the next Straw Hat. So, the rumor about Rebecca's birth is being spread around, pretty much. And, I mean, that's just because, I suppose, Kiros is her father. And Kiros is not of noble bloodline, obviously. Oh, so she takes, like, the blood of people. And with that, she converts it to a dandy Hilaya. Luffy's up. He's sad because Sabo left, eating a whole mess of meat, as always. We've got to go after Sanji and the others, too. Yeah, yeah, motherfucker. You have to start leaving. The fact that you're not even gone yet is shocking to me. And FYI, it's page 13. <sighs> Fuck is Kaido. Wait, is he simultaneously sleeping while eating? Luffy leveled up. Simultaneous eating and sleeping while talking. Let me add that too. Because I've seen him eat while sleep before after any lobby. But while talking? Mm. So apparently it was Kiros who started the rumors. And basically the reason why Kiros did it is because he has a very shaky past. So he says. In a nutshell. So basically, Kiros is trying to let Luffy know that, you know, everything's okay. I sent her a letter. And she's going to be teased because, you know, she's still a child. But at the end of the day... I can't be selfish and, like, prevent her from having a lifetime of happiness. That kind of stuff. And you have Usopp, you have Zoro, and they're like, you know what? Luffy, like, he ain't buying any of that shit. Right here is a new Luffy face. This is Luffy ain't buying it face, all right? He ain't believing a fucking word of that shit. <laughs> he ain't believing a fucking word of that shit. Like, nigga, I know better. I'm stupid, but I'm not that stupid. Fucking Bartolomeo. Wow, what the fuck is wrong with this guy? Five members of the Straw Hats together in one place. It's too bright even for me. What the fuck? A laser beam of epicness. Oh my god. Like every time a Straw Hat turns his way, he gets an erection. Like, dude, control yourself. Leo, the Marines are on the move. Then then Mushi. Oh, and so Destiny wins. Next page. Ah, okay, here we go. You have number six. Here comes Fujitora, all marine squads, the Straw Hat crew, and Trelvelder Law, as well as those criminals being housed in the Royal Palace. Capture them all. Yo, hey, Roger. And you got a whole swarm of marine soldiers ready to go. And I guess they're gunning for, I think that's the Flower Hill, so I guess they're gunning for Luffy and company first. So there's a ship in the Eastern Harbor waiting for them. Bartolomeo saying, go and run to the Eastern Harbor. And they actually have, like, Psy, they have Cavendish and other people, they're waiting there, like, on the route to go to the Eastern Harbor. So they got some substantial backup. I, I fucking forgot about Bellamy. Jesus, he's still there. Okay, so after all this Bellamy talk, they start to run, and they're being fired upon, obviously, as usual. Okay, Luffy, for some reason, not running, stopping, looking the other direction. 
I just remembered I've got something I need to do. Go on, I'll catch up later. Rebecca says I didn't get a chance to thank Lucy yet. So don't tell me that he's going to go all the way back to the palace just to thank Rebecca. Now then, has your luck run dry? Allow me the courtesy of finding out with all my might. And that's it, I guess. That's the chapter. That is the chapter. All right, so... Yeah. I mean, I, maybe Fujitora is going to pull some more epic shit that we haven't seen before. I'm not too sure. But regardless of that, the chapter had no Kaido. And... Well, you know what? I'll get to the details in my review, which I'll probably do tomorrow or maybe maybe even like later tonight if I can, honestly. But that being said, uh, that's One Piece chapter 796. Yeah. So I will see you guys and guys later. King Lightning, rate the video, comment, subscribe. Have a nice one. <sighs> like the chapter, I don't know, man. Like, it was... It, it was lackluster, man. Like, it was. It, it was. It was lackluster. But whatever, whatever. I'll see you guys for the review. Have a nice one.